And there's no way you can get any excitement out of this once the watercolor is dry. Um, without starting completely over again. But there is some fun you can have with India ink and a stick. So if you take the stick, this time what we're going to try to do is break up the lines that are too tight and too rigid with the watercolor. And I like to use a stick and I like to hold it in a non-typical kind of way because this, in fact, well, let's use, let's use the non-dominant hand because that I have less control over that and it gives me a more exciting kind of line. And I can zig and zag, you know what, I don't like to do that <laughs> for this. So I can go more quickly this way and I get random thicknesses. I'll put a little center in that one and define all of these little flowers. I'm using the reds as the prominent flowers here. These little sticks come from a bamboo placemat. So I don't know where you can get those nowadays. I've had mine for so long. And so then we have these little yellow ones that are down here. I kind of get a little definition of the shape of the container. Try to make the masses of different sizes. And I think these little purple ones, I kind of like the idea here of having a, a tight scribble in there. So that's what I'm going to do for these. And every picture is different in the way you can finish it this way. Put in little centers. And once you have finished doing the drawing part of it, you can go back and enhance some of, enhance some of the colors as well. <laughs>